Frequent flyers fly, la 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 la. Frequent flyers bat. What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? Welcome back to the channel. Smash the like button to show your support. And if you're new to the channel, I'd like to extend a warm welcome. And so I'm out here at the park again. Today is Throwback Thursday, y'all. So I'm out here with one of my classic quads from back in the day. This one is from Sima. This is the Sima X9 flying car. <laughs> and so a little while back, maybe a, a few months ago, I did a review on a car that was a flying car or whatnot that kind of tried to clone this thing it was a little smaller though but it didn't do well at all got negative re got a negative review from me because the front wheels didn't turn this one here is implemented a whole lot better the flying car thing or whatnot it might be a little gimmicky but at least it works you can drive this thing around the wheels are powered by motors separate motors I, well I'm not sure if they're separate motors but I'm pretty sure that uh, the other one didn't have any motors powering the wheels at all the forward movement was uh, generated by the propellers everything was uh, based on the propellers and so this one does it a little better a lot better actually the Sima X9 flying car so let's get it in the air this one is deviated, so I got my little jumper out here. So check it out. So the propellers don't actually have to be spinning in order to drive this guy. Check it out. Oops. <laughs> I have a little connector in here connecting the battery. So that's giving it a very little power, making it think that it's at LVC, but it's not at LVC. I was charging this battery up this morning. It's a new battery. It's not one of my older batteries, but I did have to use a connector, an adapter, in order to connect it. So we have this flash in here. I'm just going to fly it around a little bit. Let you guys see how nice it flies. Because it does fly nice. It's a little heavy, but it's a car, which you expect. <laughs> Check this guy out. Trying to fly around the trees a little. <laughs> Let me bring it in closer so you guys can see it. It does do flips and all. I have a spare battery. I'm going to swap it out. And it's going down. Let me bring it over here to the ground. I forgot how to really turn with this guy. <laughs> Oh, there we go. So the same stick that you, the elevator stick is the stick that makes it turn when you're driving on the ground and makes it go as well. I'm gonna have to get that other battery in there. Check it out real quick with the other battery. The other battery is a lot smaller, well, a little smaller, so I was trying to uh, get a little more power and a little more flight time out of a larger battery, but I had to use that connector. It didn't work out, so I guess we're going to have to pop in a small battery. Just to be able to show you guys the tips, it is a little breezy out here, kind of cold. Have to bind it back up. 
okay so a lot more power now check out the flip so it does flip <laughs> flips on the go too <laughs> A little heavy though, but at least it does do it. Oh, and that's it with the flips. <laughs> it's flashing already. But this battery is a little small for this thing. It had a larger battery. I think the battery that came with it was a 700 million hour 1S. It does take 1S. I know it's pretty much a gimmick, uh, the driving aspect of it, but at least it works. <laughs> One of the better implementations of a flying car you can go. Uh, if you can get a smooth landing, you can get transition right into driving it, I'm trying to show that. Oh! <laughs> Landing was a little too hard. <laughs> so if I didn't suck, I would be able to land it. Try to come in for another landing. Here we go. Oh! Went off the road. That's when being able to take off in the air comes in handy. There we go. <laughs> the Sima X9 flying car. Thanks for watching.